All right, greetings, all my fellow monsters and ghouls out there. This is the Terrors of Halloween, and I'm also deciding I'm gonna do a full video. Why not? So yes, I also I also uploaded a I also uploaded a um, YouTube short where I showed some of the animatronics and that cool and that very awesome looking drop down scarecrow also made from techie that is what as, that is actually where this animatronic came from and i believe this was from last year if i'm correct if this animatronic came out last season oh yes i do like this design of this e evil looking scarecrow he looks very cool i would totally use him for the cornfield graveyard at dr neville stone's graveyard house of terror also speaking of that here's his box right here animated drop down scarecrow yeah 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 this is kind of the height he kind of goes 8.2 feet high wow that is very high for this awesome looking drop down scarecrow here you know what i'll, I'll show him again why not even though i show him in the short oh there he is awesome oh yeah also here's the here's the bloody Here's the bloody trick or treat ghost right here, and oh yes, also we actually we actually went to go pick this one up. So this one, I'm I'm actually definitely gonna use this for Doctor Neville Stone's graveyard house of terror. So I'll have to put him somewhere in the yard. So yeah, so yeah, so we actually we we actually picked that up for for actually for a very good price for this um bloody trick or treat ghost. Yeah, here I don't know if you can hear him. He's kind of quiet, so he kind of plays the Michael Myers theme. Yeah, it's kind of similar, but it, but if you listen closely, it kind of plays that Michael Myers type theme to it. Oh yes, I did see her. She's she's very cool. I can't remember what she's called. Is she on the list here? I'm not sure. Oh, here we go. H here she is. I gotta move that out of the way. Oh, ha hack I'm uh, hacking Hetty. So like, is axe swing axe swinging girl. So like she like swings her axe. So here we'll, we'll check her out. Lizzie Borden oh, <laughs> the Lizzie Borden killer. Gave her mother 40 wax. 40 wax. When I saw what she had done, I thought that was like... Uh-oh. <laughs> ah, there she goes. <laughs> awesome. Oh yeah, very, very cool. Oh yeah, also right next to that. Well, this one doesn't really work, so I kind of like try to push on it. it. It's it's supposed to have like a bear that kind of like pops up, but it don't work at the moment. So that, that's a bummer. But here's the wait, what do, you, what do you call this? Oh, here we go, the skill crane, right there. So that's that's what it's called. All right. Well, here are some of the masks we got over here. Oh, we got the siren head one. This is like a creepy pasta legend. The, the legend of the siren head very cool also got a ghost face knife i don't know why they have this like ghost face does not use a knife like that that's a knife for michael myers what to use and i got a a blingy looking ghost face mask right here kind of ah, yeah i'm very cool looking got a jason one just like a styrofoam piece mask got leather face yeah, he's a Trick or Treat Studios. And I got a leather face. Got a here's a Freddy Krueger one. I think this one's from Ruby's Costumes, I believe. This I've kind of seen this one before. I think I've seen this last year when I when I actually came here for the very first time. Now this is kind of my second video doing I'm kind of like filming some of the stuff um, at Party City, looking at some cool Halloween decor stuff. Oh, oh yeah! Check out the wolf mask right here. It's very cool. Yeah, so, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm actually planning on using this one for my other werewolf character, the werewolf beast, um, from Doctor Neville Stone's Graveyard House of Terror. So, so yeah. Um, I, I'm probably not gonna buy this today because I don't, I don't have my wallet. I forgot it at home. So, so I might come back and 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 get this mask for um for the werewolf beast character. Oh, oh, check that one out. That's very cool. I've seen this one from the Ghoulish Productions website. Yeah, it's like it's like a full on chest piece. You put the mask on like like like, like your chest has got all these gross things like that rib cages showing right there. Got 
here's like his guts right there oh man that that is that's pretty cool yeah i've seen that from the ghoulish production website that undeadish looking zombie um, mask with the whole chest piece oh so cool love this undeadish looking creature and oh and yes um yeah I, I believe i showed you this in my in my last year's video when i came to party city for the first time and i sh yeah yeah i love this mask right here it's very very well detailed also the from the most famous company zagoni studios it's got this undeadish looking vampire mask so yes i'm this is actually going to be a, a new character I'm coming up with. Actually, not this year. For for next season, for Dr. Neville Stone's Graveyard House of Terror. So this is going to be a new vampire character I'm creating for, for next year. He's going to be called Goliath. Goliath the Undead Vampire. So yeah, so like, he, yeah, so like kind of like, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll kind of like get, I'm not really going to tell the whole story. I'll just tell like kind of what he is. So like he, so like Goliath is, is like a, um, um, it's like an undeadish lo um, looking vampire that kind of lingers around Dr. Neville Stone's graveyard and he feasts on blood to make him more stronger and powerful that, that he is. So, yeah, so this is so this actually not going to be a character for this year for for the haunted house. So this this is going to be a new character that I'm coming up with. So this is going to be a new mask for next year. So I'm actually going to get this for Christmas. I'm not going to get this now. This is going to be a next year's mask for this for this undead looking vampire ghoul creature of the graveyard. So yes, yeah, so, so yes, yeah, so that's so that's going to be the new character Goliath the Undead Vampire. So that's going to be a brand new character for the 2025 season of Dr. Neville Stone's Graveyard House of Terror when we open up for next Halloween. So yes, oh yeah, of course we'll still yeah, of course we're going to be opening um on Halloween night at I, uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Of course, October thirty first is the only the only open one night only. So yes, this is going to be a new, brand new character. And yes, and I'll uh, yeah. Also, I got to get a costume for this mask too. So I'll have to like kind of look around and see if I can find a a cool looking costume for Goliath, the undead vampire. Also from Zagoni Studios, my favorite company. I'll definitely love Zagoni Studios. All right, we got some more masks over here. Oh, I do like this tree cre monster mask right here. It's like a, well, he's like a evil tree creature. You know, I, I don't know. I think I'm, I'm thinking about getting this one for next year. So, so we might have two new characters. So Goliath, the undead vampire, and this, and this monstrous looking tree creature mask right here. So yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about this. This might be new for a new character. So we'll, we'll see, we'll see. I'll, I'll have to decide for an, an. an like two new characters for next season. We've got a, like a Baphomet devil mask. There's Krampus, the the Christmas demon. And ooh, ooh, this is very cool. This will like go good with like your toxic waste theme, like haunted house. Uh, oh, that's very nice. Got some like some blingy masks here. Got some skeleton ones. There's like a clown like with googly eyes. It's very cool. Yeah, I got some other cool looking mask. I like like an alien and a devilish looking jester mask. Oh wow. Yeah, this this will go good for your Karn Evil theme haunt. Yeah, that's very very cool. And got like the Slender Man. Oh yeah, they also have this at Spirit Halloween. Yeah. They they carry it here too, the the Slender Man looking masks. And got the silly masks over here, the old man ones over here from Zagoni Studios. Oh yeah, yeah, they kinda make other masks too. They make the scary ones and they kinda make the, the funny ones too on from from for uh for Zagoni Studios. Oh yeah, the, these are Zagoni Studios masks as well as as well. Like a like a creepy bear and a like a war hog right there oh yeah i do have that mask at home so well yeah of course that's going to be changed to that oh, wait, wait, wait this one right here that's going to be a new like look for the way i wolf beast character so yeah so i got some cool looking masks here oh and also got ghost face from from scream they, yeah they always sell those every year it's like the iconic scream mask i mean the scream costume too and i got the Halloween 2 Michael Myers costume too. It's very nice. Oh, and you get Leatherface's hammer that he uses. Nice. 
Oh, and look who's over here. We got Santa Art from Terrifier 3. He's got and they got him all dressed up in the in the in the Santa Claus form that Art the Clown wears in in Terrifier 3. Yes, I got to go see it. So, well, I work at Haunt tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, Saturdays and Sundays. So, I'll have to go see this when I'm off at Haunt at Worlds of Fun, of course. You know who's coming back? Charles the Scarecrow Harvester. He's he's ready to feast on more souls this weekend at Halloween Haunted Worlds of Fun at the Corn Stalkers. But yes, I also do love the love, love the Santa art that they got him dressed up in. Oh yeah, also he's got the famous sunglasses that Art the Clown wears in Terrifier too. So yeah, got Santa art just right here. Yeah, yeah, he, he he's also supposed to move, but he's not working at the moment. So so he's just kind of like a static prop. Oh, nice. We got some more stuff over here. And oh, check this out. I didn't see this. It's like a, it kind of changes right here. So it's got, it goes to a zombie right here. And it kind of goes like to like, to like the Wendigo type creature. Oh, that's very cool. Oh, nice. So kind of, yeah, I'm kind of thinking about getting, getting more of these. We don't, we, we only, we have two of them at, at the, at the house. Also, it's also in the John, the caretaker scene. On the on the porch where you have those two portraits, but yeah, yeah, but that's that's very cool. Kind of changes to like a zombie, undead ghoul, and it kind of changes to this like a like like the Wendigo looking creature. Oh yeah, and we got some got some creepy cloth here for like your graveyard setup or your haunted house. So yeah, we yeah we also do have a lot. We we actually bought a lot a lot of those for uh the. Dr. Neville Stone's Graveyard House of Terror kind of like, you know, kind of like sets the whole atmosphere of the whole graveyard with the creepy cloth. And I got some more like like wall decor. I think you put them on your wall, I think. And here's an here's another one right here. It's like it kind of the eye kind of moves. Oh, that's oh, that's oh, that's very grotesque. Oh, very, very cool. Oh, also I got some like gargoyle look gargoyle looking creatures and some like some potions and that right there that's very very cool and oh and, and this one right here this one you can put in your in your graveyard like like moss oh, oh that's very nice <laughs> that's very cool oh yeah well i'll, I'll, def, I'll def have, definitely have to come back and pick that one up too that, that's very cool i would totally put that one in the in the graveyard and i'm trying to see oh they got some like little mystery minis got the nightmare before christmas characters that's very cool. Oh, so you get like Jack Skellington, Sally, Zero, Oogie Boogie, the Mayor, uh, Lock, Shock, and Barrel, and the Scary Teddy, and the two exclusives that you get. That's very cool. Yeah, I guess I got some of that and some Nightmare Before Christmas decor. Oh, I just bumped in right in the spider. Oops, I'm so sorry, sir. Yeah, and here's some more like creepy cloth for for cool looking graveyards. And it's like, oh, I think these is like kind of for your house. You kind of put in your house. Huh, very cool. I've got some cool stuff. And ooh, and also over here, we got some like hanging reaper props you can kind of put in the yard. Oh, yeah, that's very cool. Like a white, whitish grim reaper. Um, little hanging prop. I got like a evil demon right here. You can kind of hang. Yeah, I, th I think this will go good for your graveyard theme too. Kind of put that in the whole whole graveyard facade. Oh, okay. These are just kind of the same things over here. Oh, I forgot to show this one. Well, yeah, sadly, this one doesn't really work. I try to push in it, but it just would not, like, work. It's it's a fire breather. So, like, he has a light in his mouth, and then he breathes fire. Like, he's going to set that on fire. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, he's very big. He's, like, tall like the Slender Man. That's very cool. I got like a so oh yeah some some gravestones over here for the whole facade right here oh what does this one say neighbors are quiet oh wait for for rent one uh, I can't read wait uh Bredum? I don't know I don't even know I'm reading that right so neighbors are quiet right there that's what the tombstone says 
And they, oh, yes, we got some pop-up coffins. Yeah, the, the, um, actually, I do have one similar to this one, but the one I have, it's kind of tearing up. So I might have to come back for next time at Party City or Spear Halloween. Spear Halloween actually carries those, too. So I'll have to, I'll have to get a new one because the one I have, it's, it's really ripping up. Plus, plus, we had that for a really long time. So I think it's time to up, upgrade the little um, the pop-up coffin. So there's that one right there. And, oh, okay, we got some, like, creepy clown costumes right here. And, oh, I also, I, I also, the other day, I also picked up at Spirit Halloween the art, the bloodied version of the Art the Clown costume. So, I don't have a horn yet, so I might have to come back next time at, at Party City. Or, yeah, I think Spirit Halloween has those, too, but I don't think, I don't think they have one like, like this one. So, I might have to kind of pick that up for Art the Clown. So, yeah, you know, kind of in the movie and, and then Terrifier films like, you know, Art the Clown, a.k.a. David Howard Thornton, that, that one that plays Art the Clown. He kind of holds that horn and goes like, here, I'm kind of afraid to. Okay, hold on. Okay, okay, okay there you go. I'm not, I'm not going to like push it that loud or anything. Yeah, so yeah, that, that's the one thing I'm kind of missing with the with my bloody Art the Clown costume that I picked up the other day at Spirit. So, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely have to give him a horn, too. Oh, yeah, and of course, you know, like, Art, Art the Clown, you know, he kind of just uses all sorts of weapons that he can kind of get on. He's kind of like Jason in a type of way. It's so like, you know, Jason Voorhees in the Friday the 13th films. He kind of he kind of just uses different weapons at that time and time. And, of course, in, in, in Art the Clown, he kind of uses all sorts of weapons, like knives and all sorts of things. Kind of like, you know, like the saw right there of course in the, in the first terrifier oh that was kind of gross he's saw sawing up that that female in the first terrifier oh that was very gruesome in the first one but yeah little art the clown horn <laughs> oh nice we got some more tombstones over here but they're styrofoam sadly dang yeah styrofoam just i don't know i'm not gonna pick these up anymore because every time i buy these these just really fall apart easily but but i do like I, I do love the designs of it though it's got like it's got like a creepy face and on the gravestone right over, right, right here that's some more um ghoulish um creatures right here you can hang up and oh yeah also we got some like skeletons over here and i do like this one right here this will fit in perfectly for dr dr neville stone's graveyard house of terror the the creepy um decaying skull yeah, I'm I'm de I'm definitely gonna have to get this for next time. So so cool. L love that decaying skull. I got some. I got some just your other basic skulls. I got a got a pumpkin one right here, pumpkin skeleton, and got just your basic skeleton. So yeah, here's all the super spooky skeletons. And oh, and check these out. They got these um they got these latex gargoyle like props. It's kind of funny. Usually when they make gar gargoyle props, they make them like hard plastic. But this one's latex. And I think this is oh yeah, Ghoulish Productions. So that, that's the company that makes some make makes all those cool looking masks. Ah, didn't even know this was from Ghoulish Productions. Yes. Yeah, yeah, just it's just all like latexy and stuff right over here. And got like a fog machine you can kind of put in your in your haunt right right there and some fog juice guys need to pick up